right, I am recording again, Undertale. Previously, we finished the tutorial, or rather, tutorial section of the game. Should have a little bit more independence now. So now we are out of the ruins, and we're in a very dark forest, it seems. There's a hidden camera in the bushes. That's a bush? I thought it was a boulder. But that is also disturbing that there's some sort of... I wonder if we attempted to go back. Will it say something? It's not even letting me like get a dialogue option. Alright, well we're just gonna have to walk through this uh, very creepy forest. With this, um, almost sounds like a UFO sound in the back. Uh... It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Uh, I feel like if I were to walk over that, it would indicate some monster of my presence. So I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Well, something walked over that very tough looking branch. Apparently, let's just uh, let's just keep moving to the right. Okay, that that was super creepy. We're just gonna just gonna keep avoiding that. And we're just gonna keep on walking here. And okay. Unavoidable, it would seem, our encounter with this mysterious person, a shadowy figure. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Alright, sure, buddy. Really? <laughs> this is the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious. Why is that? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Okay. The comedic character is Sans, comic Sans. Ha ha ha. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human and fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars way too wide to stop anyone. Seems like there was a thing broken in there anyway. Quick, behind this conveniently shaped lamp. All right. <laughs> Sup, bro. You know what's up, bro. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I do not have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. Oh, I like the little fluttering cape he's got there. People will ask to be my friend. I shall bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans, come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Alright, this guy's awesome. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, so I guess they're going for more like a like a skeletor vibe from him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can come now. All right, that was a pretty funny encounter. You gotta get going. He might come back, and if he does. You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. 
How can you wink? You're a skeleton. You don't have eyelets. Ah. I guess that's part of the joke. So are these bushes as well? They're just snow covered bushes, I suppose. What's this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. So it's actually a hot dog stand. Okay, anything else to be learned from here? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Alright, let's walk. Oh, actually, hey, uh, hate to bother you, but, uh, could you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Oh, I like this music. It reminds me of, uh... Charlie Brown Christmas, kind of. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Alright, I've been playing this game for a while here. What's the sign say? This is a box! You can put an item inside or take an item. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Let's see what we got. Yes, let's use the box. Tough gloves! I don't want to ever eat this butterscotch pie because it has sentimental value to me, so... Let's get this tough glove. I don't think we need the stick anymore, either. It's because we got a kick-ass toy sword, or toy knife, rather. Um, I think we can keep everything else. So, uh, I don't know which way we're supposed to go. A new encounter, Snowdrake flutters forth. Let's just check out this dude. Snowdrake, this teen comedian, fights to keep a captive audience. Ice to meet you. Okay. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, oh my god. That was kind of lame. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Okay, so he wants to be a comedian. Let's, uh, let's laugh at his joke. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Okay, so he's got some parental issues it seems oh my god stop hitting me is pleased with its cool joke yuck 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 all right i wish you really wouldn't hit me like that it's uh is my hp not uh restored by doing that again uh that's gonna bring us further into the story i think so let's check this way up here okay we got a little river here and a Lone fishing pole. Let's check out this fishing pole. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Mm, sure. All that's attached to the end of the photo is a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decided not to call. Are you sure? You send the line back out. Hmm. I assume we are going to be informed about the joke intended there later in the story. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Nope. Nope. Double take, triple take, quadruple take. Too many... <laughs> Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. Sans, I violated it. Undyne will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so popular. Popular, you gotta be popular. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, uh, I'm not actually sure what happens next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. But don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Impossible winks. Continue. Just okay. I'm just gonna randomly check nooks and crannies like that. Sorry. Ice cap struts into view. I am not familiar with this guy. Ice Cap. Check. Ice Cap. This teen wonders why 
it isn't named Nice Hat. I just love my hat, okay? Whoa, 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 okay. He's thinking about an article of clothing. Let's, uh, compliment his hat. You inform Icecap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Oh, okay. Sinusoidal. Ugh. Icecap also wants a hat for its nose. Um. You inform Icecap that the hat is great. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so complimenting his hat doesn't really, uh... Doesn't really help this. So maybe... Maybe if we steal the hat? I don't know, man. This seems... What about... I feel that's just gonna make him mad though, right? Putting me up a wall here, I don't know. Let's do it. You tried to steal our caps, but it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police! <laughs> oh, these sinusoidal. Okay. What's a hat for its nose? I don't want to fight it, so. Is this one that we have to flee from? Yeah, okay. That's cool. Alright, this one. This little hot dog stands a little dilapidated. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet this was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet. Very famous royal guardsman. Okay, so that's Papyrus' guard station. Absolutely no moving. Hmm? How else am I to proceed, though? But, oh, that move did something move. Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Mm, Dogo blocks the way. Check. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Okay. Okay, well. Good. Can't seem to find anything. <laughs> um. Pet him? I mean, that's movement, but. You pet dog. What? I've been pet. Pet, 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 pet. Has been pet. Okay, so we can. We can mercy now. Alright. Cool. 30 gold. That was easy. This is something. Pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Nope. Hello? Is anybody there? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Someone's been smoking dog treats. That's not good for your health, I would imagine. Okay, so... Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother's got a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Okay, we kind of learned it from the previous guy. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? But stop sign's are red. Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs highlighted in yellow text. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, okay. This is a nice, easy introduction into how ice works in this game, I imagine. Okay, another encounter. Lesser dog appears. Lesser dog. Let us, uh. I think our only option is to pet this guy, so let's pet him. You barely lifted your hand, and Lesser dog got excited. No! Don't! No! No! <laughs> okay, well... We can spare So we just gotta pet Lesser Dog. Kinda wanna use an item, but... North, Ice, South, Ice, West, Ice, East, Snowden Town. 
and ice. Uh, let's go up first, though. Um, if we encounter somebody again, we're gonna get booty duped. So let's use a monster candy, gain 10 health. Awesome. Oh, it's a snowman. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Hello. I am a snowman, as I just got done saying. I want to see the world. I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. You got the snowman piece. I don't see the piece of him is missing, but it's cool. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses. Excuses. Oh ho, a human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually quite rather small. Like. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead now. Um, he's hoarding the orb, though. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? Uh, I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Um, okay, he... That's <laughs> just... So he uh, just showed us the means by which to solve his puzzle here. Not very difficult. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. Designed by my brother Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Did he just moonwalk out of this? <laughs> Hey, thanks. My brother seems to be having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made it a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I guess so. In a dorky way, he's pretty awesome. Who is this guy? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Um, I don't know about that, buddy. Oh, a customer! Hello! Would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. It's just 15G. I uh, don't have a lot of space, but I guess we could use another healing item. It's a super duper day. You get an ice cream. Anything in this bush? Anything in this tree? Anything in this tree? Nope. Okay, well... So now we're gonna do like something with the ice, I reckon. I reckon. <sighs> That's not how. All right. No. All right. <sighs> oh, okay. We gotta get in the hole. Oh my god. Oh my god, so close! Yeah! What? What's this for? Purple! Even when you fill trap, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. Okay, are there other, uh... Are there other puzzles like that? I wonder to myself. There's a camera hidden inside this lump of snow. Okay, so we are being surveyed. Aggressively. Uh... Is going up there continue the main story? I wonder what this place down here is gonna bring me to. Nope. The reverse is actually the case. So let's go back up to the right. Oh, huh. What do we got here? Is. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Why? Why is it red though? Hers. 
That's a his and hers dog troop. Let's see what Sans has to say. I've been thinking about some treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Uh, that's fried snow? Is this a joke? Did I say 5G? I mean 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000? That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Well, considering the abundance of snow in the vicinity, I find that hard to believe, but good attempt at a joke there. What is this? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> okay. 